In October last year, I had one of the worst falls of my life. It was at Bicton Horse Trials, I was going cross country, messed up my strides completely and had a near rotational fall. Now that has resulted in an absolute confidence crash, as many of you will know. Now I've been trying to share this as much as I can on my channel because I know that I am not alone in this. Now I've been doing lots of things from lessons to talking to sports psychologists, but I've not done anything in the way of falling. Now this did get me thinking because I have been riding for over 20 years now. I've had thousands of lessons learning how to ride, but not one learning how to fall. So that's what we're going to do today. That's very cool. Oh, God. Are you all right? Of course I'm. Oh, that's making me stressed. Okay, okay we're going to wind it back. Why, why is it making you stressed? Well, I don't Look know. Look how low it's... to the ground I am. Wow. I might as well be on a 12 hand pony. <laughs> you right there, Freddie? No, you've got sand Dusting all yourself off. Sand all over me. Right, guys, this is the one and only Freddie Steele who has agreed to help me on my confidence journey to try and take away the emotion for falling. That's what we're doing here today, is it, yeah? Yeah, so what we're doing is we're making oh, falling goodness. normal. We're um, giving ourselves training because with <laughs> training comes confidence and without training is when we become underconfident. So with training, with skills, in the back pocket, ready for when we need them, that's what's gonna help build confidence. So I'm a horse trainer and stunt performer um, and train problem horses, run on shows. Uh, Horse trainer, did you say? Yeah, we'll <laughs> deal with that bit later. Um, <laughs> he's trained to the map, though. You see. Um, so yeah, we're gonna we're gonna go through some different skills. Teach Meg some skills here. Hope you're ready. Mm -hmm. Don't quite know what you've walked into, do you? No, I'm hoping not what we've just seen. Uh, we'll work up to that. No, no, no. Because no. you need a goal to work up to. Yee. So we need to work up to it, right? Okay, but I think it's kind of little steps yeah of course at this point yeah which does bring me on to where douglas has actually gone yeah so although you did it off of a gorgeous horse i think i should probably so you should grab him douglas is actually going to show us where i'm going to be falling from the bay uh thoroughbred there is troy <laughs> um how old is he i don't know i rescued him right, the other okay. week so um yeah. he's become friends with douglas <laughs> he's uh not very well behaved everyone falls off him uh, and that's his job, really. <laughs> Throw everyone off. <laughs> every, see, every horse has a purpose. <laughs> <laughs> right, okay, well, I'm going to hop on board, Troy. We're going to discuss a little bit more about what we're actually trying to achieve today and why I've come. And Douglas, I think you're done for a little bit, mate. You get to go and stand in the lorry. I like him. I think we're friends. Good. <laughs> to be fair, this actually looks quite fun. It is great fun. I'm I'm excited to uh, jump on some mats. It's so much fun, and to be honest, that's what riding's meant to be. Well, it's exactly. Meant to, it's meant to be fun, and it starts off fun. That's why we all start riding, right? Because yeah. we enjoy it and it's fun. Then we become adults, and the pressure comes, and all the rest that's of it. That's the thing. I've gotten so much wussier since I've since I've aged, matured like a fine wine. <laughs> and then people like it goes on from that then people yeah. are like kids i have kids so i used to be confident before yeah, kids I hear that loads. you hear that all the time and it all started as fun yeah. so we need to make it fun again we need to make it fun take the pressure off break things down and quite often the fun goes out because we fall off yeah but if we make falling fun can you see how it then links back yeah then it's like oh okay let's go again so you're getting ready then giving me the heebie jeebies What's that's that? from Bicton. That's a, a war wound, that mud. A little bit of mud. Well, yeah, but that is it represents so much more, Freddie. But you have to you have to take these things as how they come. Like it's a bit of mud. Think. Yeah. What it actually is that it's a bit of mud. You're calling it a war wound, but really <laughs> In the grand, you see, see, you're laughing at it now because I've broken it down and said. I know, but it's just with. weird. And I had a comment on one of my videos saying, because I don't know if I, I need to wash this or something because every time I see it, I think of that fall. Mm. And someone said in my videos because I did the exact same thing. I was like, oh my god, like look at that. That's from where I fell at Brickton. And what then they, they were say? like, your demeanour changed straight away after that. Like, 
it was when I had that Lucinda lesson and mm. when I cried. Mm. And yeah, people were like, you changed as soon as you mentioned Well, now's that. a good time actually to mention vocabulary and how we talk. And it must be super hard for you because you're online and yeah. everyone can put their vocab into all your posts and everything. But how we talk about our horses, our riding, is how we then begin to act. If you, I don't know Lucinda, but mm -hmm. I can imagine, I'm pretty confident, she talks very bluntly, factually, this, 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 this too, and how you're describing stuff and talking stuff. And if you've got someone in your friendship group speaking all the time using words like horror, pick them up on it. Because one of you gives the other one permission to use those words that give the other one permission, then suddenly the whole circle's talking negatively and depressingly, then they won't ride, then they'll go and get coffee instead, then they'll go and sit inside rather than do things. So factually talking, vocabulary, that's what we're gonna use today. Should have okay. mentioned Freddie's actually quite switched on with the whole like brain stuff as well. You're very good with that's it. That's the nicest thing you've ever said to yeah, me. Yeah, no, no, to be fair, you're talking a lot of sense. Um, it, it makes sense, doesn't it? But it does. you have to break it. It's very simple, but you have to break it down because yeah, you have to take the emotion out of it. You don't think about it until you don't think someone about says it. it. Safety equipment is sensible. What's right? Like, yeah, no, you're right. It's sensible. I sometimes don't wear it because in a film, when I've got a traditional costume on, I have to fall off without a helmet on, without an air vest on, they everything else. They didn't have point-to-air jackets back in Northern They Wednesday, didn't have point-to-air jackets. But luckily no, they, they do now. They do now. So actually, as times develop, safety equipment has developed as well. And the fact I don't need it, but can have it, means we've just got extra. So it's sensible, use it. Safety stirrups, hats, air jackets, body protectors, the lot of it, use it. So I've decided to come in my competition attire mm -hmm. because that's what I'm most... I feel like I can't use any words now. Right, we'll, we'll change my language after, but I'm most scared about falling off at competitions, especially cross country, because that's obviously where I had my fall. Mm -hmm. So just to talk you through what I'm wearing, guys, I have got my champion MIPS jockey skull cap. So it's obviously not got a peak because I'm thinking yeah. cross country. I've then got my TI22 body protector, which these are so like malleable. And then over the top, I have got my Point2 Pro air vest. Now, I've been wearing an air vest for literal years. These have helped my confidence so much. Because you know it's there. I know it's there, That's exactly. It. I definitely feel it's a safety so much blanket. more secure. And to give Point2 credit, when I had my Bicton fall, the only injuries I had were on my limbs. So the mud on my air jacket after my fall did show us that Jam had trodden on my kind of collarbone shoulder region. However, because this inflated in less than one second, I was fully protected by the air around me whilst Jammy tried to sort out her feet. And consequently, I suffered no injuries to my neck, back or coccyx because it comes down and protects you that far. So I've been a proud supporter of Point2 Air Jackets for 13 years now, would you believe? They were the leaders in the industry, which always reassures me that they're gonna have the best technology to make sure that we're safe whilst we're riding. They do just give me an extra feeling of confidence. And I know that if I get myself into a sticky situation, I've got an added layer to help me get out of it. Now, this is a pre-warning. There are gonna be some visuals of some falls now, so just skip ahead if you don't want to see them. So this is quite a nasty fall, as you can see here, a full rotation. Although the rider wasn't completely separated from the horse, there was enough distance that the air jacket still went off. And you can see both horse and rider walked away from this and the rider was fully protected by the air. This is a slowed down inflation and less than a second and you have got a fully inflated bit of padding around you so that you can escape the fall. I feel really lucky to now be supported by Point2 Air Vests and strongly urge anyone who doesn't ride with an air vest to at least go and check them out because it really could save your life. So, I've got my trick saddle on Troy because I don't want to um, widen my dress size saddle <laughs> because Troy is quite wide. Um, so we've got a trick saddle on. You see there's a pommel at the front. What are you thinking about the pommel? Go on. Bit it out now. I'm thinking I'm not going to be able to fall off of that. That's going to get in the way. Right, okay. So that's normal, okay? Because <laughs> I think that was even a dress size saddle. I think, oh, that's hard to fall off in. So we've got hard to fall off in, dress size saddle, the pommel's in the way, okay? This can replicate a neck, it can replicate reins, it can replicate all sorts of stuff that we yeah. have to get out the way of. Um, and we can fall off 
in any saddle, no saddle, easily, hard, whatever. Any situation, it's, it's more how we deal with the situation. So we're gonna use this today because I knew that it's gonna put some flags in Meg's head. Oh, she's a bit wobbly. She is a bit wobbly. She uh, had to have a little um, refurb to fit in the lorry. <laughs> <laughs> We're riding along on the horse on Troy, okay? And I'm, firstly, I'm gonna talk about staying on. Because a lot of the time people don't try and stay on. Now, have you seen those pictures and those social media posts of professionals halfway around the neck, around badminton, and then they clamber back up and they yeah, get back Yeah, up. yeah, yeah, yeah. Everyone posts and goes, these people are amazing, these people are gods, these people are, these people are normal. Mm. They're normal people that just want something. Yeah. They want to win, they want to do it. Emotional up there, just make it happen, yeah. right? And lots of people, use excuses or find ways or don't make it happen. So don't fall off for the sake of falling off. If you're gonna fall off, then we can do something about it and we're gonna learn what we can do to do it and reduce the risk of injury. But we wanna stay on. So neck straps are a great idea. Okay, back to safety equipment. Meg's got hers on, but neck straps on your horses, great idea. Um, Main is good to hold on to. If you're not competing, it might be in a plat, but then you might have a nice plat you can hold on to. Anything that you can hold on to, the front of the saddle, the back of the saddle, the stirrup leather, anything, hold on to it if you're losing your balance, okay? Because we lose our balance quite a lot, yeah? Yeah. Like, perfect scenario, we never lose our balance, but how perfect is our riding ever? It's yeah. not, is it? Mm -hmm. Like, no one's ever perfect situation. Like, some of the falls I did at the start, they were far from perfect. I found myself in a position, I was like, oh, I've got to deal with it. I'm in this position now. And that's how it happens. Like we're in those positions, we have to deal with it. So practice holding on to stuff. Practice grabbing your neck strap. Have you ever practiced grabbing your neck strap when you don't need it? Not like, go, no, not in like an emergency. Like I'll obviously, I'll ride around holding it sometimes, but yeah, I've never been like riding, go Because when it. you're riding around the cross country, generally you're not holding it, you just got the yeah, reins, yeah. yeah? So your reaction time to grabbing the neck strap, you'll have to think about that. It won't be automatic because you haven't done it multiple times. Right. Okay. We want the reaction to be automatic. About to fall, grab on. Yeah. Something happens, grab on, do something. And the time to train that is not in the situation. Mm -hmm. We don't train the emergency stop when we're learning to drive the car when we're about to crash. Yeah. We train it in our driving test right at the start. If we can't grab on, we've found ourselves half off, we've got to do something about it. So I'm going to teach you the perfect way to fall off. Obviously it never runs perfect, but close to perfect as possible, we can get it. So we're committed to the fall. Get rid of the reins. The amount of falls yeah. you've seen, people grabbing the reins, that's where injuries occur. Well, that's what happened with mine. I got really tangled I up. I saw. <laughs> I saw. Oops. What do you think are the um, most common injuries with falling off a horse? Bro well, like breaking, breaking your bones. Yeah, what bone? Um, leg, collarbone. Collarbone, wrist. No oh, wrist. They, no jazz hands, People, guys. People fall. What right. do they do? Okay. Save myself, down to the floor. Arms yeah. go, wrist goes, collarbones, broken bones, can't ride for however long you can't ride for, which yeah. we don't want to do. So get rid of the reins. Once you're committed to the falling, get rid of the reins, throw them away. We then need to do something with our hands and our arms so we don't put them down. So we're gonna give ourselves a hug. Up on, up on our shoulders here, and we're gonna, can you? I can, I'm, just, I'm conscious of my mic. <laughs> <laughs> if that's the most thing you're Shoot worried it. about, happy days. <laughs> so, give yourselves a hug, save your arms, okay? We need to get rid of the stirrups because, like we know, if you don't get rid of the stirrups, your foot can get stuck in it and you can get dragged along, okay? Even if you do get dragged along, it's not the end of the world. It's not the end of the world, right? You get dragged along a little bit, you try and figure out how to get your foot out, you have safety stirrups nowadays, Sometimes the side comes off or it flicks out with a magnet or the technology is quicker than I can even keep up with it, but the technology's there, right? Yeah. Get rid of the stirrups. So we've got rid of the stirrups, we've got rid of the reins, we're now just us in the saddle. So we're gonna save the arms. 
and you can choose forward or backwards, okay? Or you find yourself in a situation yeah. forwards or backwards. We've all had that horse stop at the fence, we go over the shoulder, we know that one, that's quite familiar. The other one we're gonna start with is going off backwards. Now, if I have a choice, I will go off backwards. Okay, get yeah. away from the horse, I'm assuming. Both we get away from the horse, but because I don't have to look down at the feet as okay. I'm going my head first down there, that's the reason I like to go backwards. <laughs> so, if I'm going backwards, all I'm gonna do just throw my leg over the horse's neck and roll away from the situation. Now you saw earlier with a bit of speed yeah. how I rolled. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You Naturally I rolled because I made myself as much of a cylinder or ball as possible. Mm -hmm. Cylinder's better because your knees don't stick out and you roll a bit better. But if you've got horses after you in the Grand National, you want to get in a ball because obviously you don't want yeah. legs and feet and everything over you. So either or, we're trying to get something that rolls, something that moves. My leg didn't get stuck on the pommel. It was well out the way of the neck, the reins, the everything, everything else. Uh-huh. Okay, jump on. We're gonna go for it. Step by step. How do I get on? Just this side. How do you get on a horse, Megan? On yeah, the left but or the I right? don't, can you hold the stirrup or something? I feel like I'm gonna tip this over. You've you got it? Yeah. There you go, so have your stirrups. Ooh, squishy. So get rid of the reins, get rid of the stirrups. Legs up to the side. Give yourself a hug. Good, okay. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna break it down. You're gonna have a little sunbathe. Come back here, lean against my hand. Sick, have a little sunbathe. Okay. Have a little sunbathe. Oh, have a little sunbathe. Okay. Have a little sunbathe. It's sunny. I'll pick the weather <laughs> for you horrible. as well. Do I like lean yeah. right back? Yeah. Oh my yeah. god. This hurts my back. All right. We'll bring these up as well. <laughs> How's that? Okay, that's fine. I've even got it cushioned for you as well. <laughs> so. This is the breakdown. So the first thing Megan said, oh, I don't know, I feel like I have to have more training, right? We're breaking it down. We're making it super, super slow. So all you're gonna do is bring this leg there about the, about the distance of a walking step, okay? Okay. And you're gonna hold that there. That makes sure we're clear of the reins and everything else. It's like a Pilates class. And then all you're gonna do is you're gonna push me on you, over there no? and we're okay. gonna roll onto the mat. Okay. Three, two, <laughs> What? Give yourself a hug, <laughs> hug. Right, first one done. The worst, tired. <laughs> the worst one is out the way, because obviously- That was horrible. I didn't realize you were gonna just push me. Well, we haven't got all day. We've got a time limit for the arena, Megan, come on. <laughs> so that's the, that's the worst one, right? The fear of the unknown. Yeah, that was horrible. Fear like of that. the unknown. Meg doesn't know what's gonna happen, unfamiliar with the training, unfamiliar with the horse, the saddle, everything. It's all new, okay? But each time it's gonna get easier and easier and easier and easier. I'm gonna do less and less and less and less. And you'll be like, actually, this is quite fun. I feel a montage coming on, guys. Can you hold my horse? <laughs> <laughs> Whoa, boy, calm yourself. Down, boy. <laughs> okay. Okay, so rid of the stirrups, rid of the arms, save your arms, good. Give yourself a hug. Do you want another one? Yeah. Ready? Three, two, wait, 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 one. wait, 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 Go. wait. <laughs> Hug, hug, hug. Good. God, the hugging's hard. Okay, right. You're doing it on your own? No. Let me stand here. We're gonna do it in one movement though. Okay. So we're gonna do shoulder down, kick the left leg off to make the roll. Okay. And keep, it's really hard to not put your hands out. I didn't realize how. Yeah. Because it's, it's like so human reaction, yeah, isn't it? Yeah, exactly. Okay. Okay, right, so cantering, 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 Three, cantering. Two, one, get rid of the stirrup. <laughs> down, kick. <laughs> yeah, that's it. Done. Oh God, actually really and you kept hold of the hug. This is really hard. The only thing you did that time, it was just half-hearted. Panic. You just yeah, because we really then we moved it into one motion where Meg then had to kick. I did less of the rotation, so you're now creating the rotation with your left leg just by going like that to create some rotation. Good. Well done. Three, two, oh. one, go. Three, two, one, go. And that's the thing as well, nerves and excitement is just adrenaline. Adrenaline, excitement, nerves, fear, it's all the same. Yeah. It's all the same stuff. So so you can be super nervous, you'll be super excited and it'll be the same chemical, it'll be the same thing. So 
whether it's nervous or excited, don't try and separate it. Mm -hmm. Because sometimes you'll wake up and you'll be like, it's happening today, it's good, exciting, it's fun, it's nervous, it's, it's everything mm -hmm. all together. But it's allowed to be. One, go, hug. Yes, man. So how can this dark yes. be raining over me? Yes. My heart's and hell's a place that everyone knows. Go. Don't be so hard on this yourself. one now. Hey, rude. Good reaction. So half an hour ago, that reaction to I'm going to move this now would have been, oh my God, there's so much. It was like, oh, rude. Have you noticed that? Just in half an hour, Meg's reaction to me moving a mat was so normal. Like, that's rude. Thanks. Move on. Like a little joke. No emotion. No, like, anything else. Good job. Good job. Well done. I'm a good student. You're a top student. Right. So we're gonna, we're not gonna go, oh yeah, do it on your own on the new mat. We're just gonna go back to what we were. Legend. So, three, two, one, hug, kick. Sandy. Yeah, see, I told you the worst thing from falling off is sand in your... I'm gonna do a bit of spring cleaning here. Pants. I just think that's a good idea for me to be involved with. familiar with the uh, feeling of yeah. how it's meant to feel, what it should feel like and now you're not nervous of the unknown because you know what it feels like. So next step, I'll go and get Douglas and then I we'll thought that was a wrap. No. I thought that was a wrap. We've still got the arena for another hour. I don't think we're doing it on a horse. I thought we were trying to do it off of this thing. do now is literally do the same with the horse okay okay I'm gonna literally like, put your head straight give yourself a hug in back he's gonna look at me going what the hell are you doing down there and then we go again <laughs> <laughs> oh Douglas you're such a good boy that's it so boring like can I at least do it my strong way yeah yeah yeah, yeah. get on in first Why? What's poor about him? He's, he's had the easiest day of his life. Sorry. I feel like I hurt his back. Right. He's a good boy. Does he look hurt? Did he give you any sign that it was sore? Did he put his ears back? Did he grunt? Did he switch his tail? Did he anything? Well, no, he didn't this time, but... Because it didn't hurt this time. <laughs> it didn't hurt this time. This horse is used to trick riding, hanging off the side, upside down, falling. He clearly doesn't care because we've just seen one. So try not to put human emotions okay. onto the horse. Yeah. Because a horse is a horse. And a lot of the time we, we treat the horses with human emotions when actually they're horses. Mm -hmm. They don't have that. So a horse will tell you if it's sore in pain. It's just stale, it's been his ears, it won't want to do something. Particularly yours, the mares, they're, they're 10 times worse than the geldings and the stallions. They just, if something's wrong, even a little bit wrong, they're going to let you know. Yeah. So don't feel bad. This horse has had the easiest day's work in his life. He stood in the lorry eating for two hours. It's like me going, yeah, we're going to work today, Megan. We're going to walk up and down there twice and we're then going to go for a carvery. <laughs> then we're going to come here and we're going to stand and have a chat. Literally his day. That is literally his day. Okay? Yeah. And, if you had a nice day, and that's when we were putting human facts on it. Yeah. Like, as what we'd do. So so just 
when you go, because you will want to go, oh, shit, sorry, horse, you will. It's natural, like, yeah. it's, it's part of um, vocab at the minute. Try and think to yourself, as you're going to say it, go, what, is, what am, am I actually sorry about? Yeah. Has anything actually happened? Yeah. If not, it's fake. Unless it's actually happened. The, all yeah. the what if, what if I do his back? What if I do this? What if I do, what if you don't? What yeah. if aliens land in that field tomorrow? What if, anything, you can make up anything, yeah. right? Because um, what ifs are quite a, a normal thing, worst case scenario. We went through worst case scenario earlier in mm -hmm. badminton. You've had worst case scenario and it yeah. Wasn't, yeah. wasn't that bad. So we're not feeling sorry for Douglas. He's had an easy day. We're gonna just leave him to Douglas chill. Douglas the legend. Sorry, Douglas. I'm See not Wendy? sorry. Okay. Okay, get rid of stirrups. Give yourself a hug. Okay. Give yourself a hug. Commitment. Three, two, one, go. Commit. Go. Good. <laughs> and there you go. There's the look. Are you all right? What are you up to down there? Hello, sweetheart. And that's it. Yeah? That's the worst one done. Okay. Three, two, one, arms, kick, go. <laughs> What, what, where did we land that time? I didn't see. Did you? Yeah. Did she? Didn't I? Nice, good job. Didn't I do a good job? Dougie! Three, two, one, arms, kick, go. Yes, nice. Hey! I good. love you, I'm sorry. He says I. And in I'm a not... dressage shadow. Woo! Oh, yeah. Absolute legend. You are such a good boy. You are such a good boy. Again? Three, two, one, rid of stirrups, hug, go. Sorry, I put my hands out. So you see some of the show jumpers after round, they're like, good boy, good boy, yeah, don't yeah, they? Yeah. It's like, like, horses don't like that, horses like a scratch. Yeah. But you see them and they're like that. So sometimes people get a bit hysteric with the feet. So if I'm going to bring my foot over and kick him or yeah. clip him, that's a lot less than, than that. that. Yeah. But just because it's the feet, people think worse. Yeah. So if it goes wrong and I go like that, he doesn't yeah. care. He's like, what are you doing? You're an idiot. Like, yeah. it's, it's another example of, don't feel sorry for him, human perception of foot being worse than hand. Yeah. When in actual fact, that compared to clipping yeah. the foot, yeah. different. Right, jump on. Three, two, one, go, commit. Good, try and land a little bit flatter. Yeah, no, I felt that, I put my little, my knobbly knees. little knees out. Best sardine impression. Three, two, one, go. Sardines. Yes, nice. One, shoulder, fold, roll. Hug. <laughs> good, you almost let go of your hug on the way down there. Go, roll. Yeah, nice, good. Go. Yeah, nice. Why don't you want to do it? Just because I The same feel... reason you haven't wanted to do any of the other ones. Huh? The same reason you haven't wanted to do any of the other ones. Come on, welcome to Blackpool Pleasure Beach. <laughs> Pony rides. Okay, we good to go? So get rid of the reins. Hug, 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 hug. Wait, 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 go. Kick. Perfect. Perfect. Woo! I know you're capable. Yeah. Is why I'm pushing you. Yeah. Because like, if I, like normally it's like middle-aged women scared to walk, get on the horse. Mm. You're not that. Yeah. You're competing, you're at that level. And I know you're capable. Like it's just, your head gets in the way sometimes. Mm -hmm. That's why I'm pushing you quite hard because I know you can. Yeah. Right? And it's like, if, if you needed a month on that going off with the big mat and a month the other side and a month higher up, then you'd use that time, but you yeah. don't. And, and we've obviously got time frames. you've done it, it's all been like textbook. <laughs> <laughs> That's why I was pushing you, pushing you with it. Douglas, I love you. You're really cool. Right, that's a wrap. Done. I think that's quite good. It's the first first steps. Obviously, like everything needs practice. It mm. needs to become more and more familiar. Like doing something one day, yes, it will help, but oh. not necessarily practice in the falling, but practice what we talk about, the vocabulary, how we're describing stuff, helping yeah. out other people and things like that. Yeah. Um, and yeah, wiping off the war wound from the old body protector. Why isn't the... Um, Air jacket. Got well, a this, yeah, because this was the one I was wearing, but this went away for their, they like refurb them. Obviously, like all your safety equipment, you want to get checked, like your hats, your body protectors, your air jackets. 
So yeah, it was plastered mud. But like I safety it dry cleaning. Yeah. <laughs> well, they'll inflate the whole thing so they make sure it's not got any punctures. Yeah. And then yeah, they cleaned it. No, so my cool. point to Everest is looking spick and span. Right. Well, I've got a cloth here, so <laughs> clean clean off the mud because the wow. last thing we want to do is you to be thinking every time you see that guys about um not only are we wiping away it's a big our day. mud but it's also the emotional rings yeah get rid of it wipe clean this is poetic it's gonna take a while <laughs> yeah. thank you for today we can do a better job i know i've not been right. the most pleasant person to work with but it has been traumatic but i feel good about it good. we made falling good. off boring which is what we aimed to do yeah boring almost fun Almost fun. When you watch back, you'll go, like, actually, that was quite, quite it was, a fun I did. Day. I have actually enjoyed myself. It has been It's really been good. such a difficult day at work, guys. Um, so difficult. Isn't it? Your job's so hard, Meg. Oh, you, awful. You if you would like to spend the day with Freddie, which we probably haven't sold him today, <laughs> but you do do these courses, don't you, that yeah, people can come and yeah. get involved in. Obviously, it goes without saying there was a caveat at the start of this video, but always do it with a trained professional when you're learning these things because we want to do it, there's a process isn't there, we want to do it the right way. Process, small steps because if you do two big steps and they don't go right then obviously you make the confidence worse and the anxiety worse. So small steps um, that are achievable all the time. But there is plenty of help out there and yeah. Yeah. What's your Instagram tag? Just Freddie Steele. Freddie Steele. I'm going to pop it down below guys. I'm also going to link all of my safety kits down below and yeah other than that a massive massive thank you. Douglas is for sale. Douglas is for sale. He's, well, he does all of this. He does trick riding, he does dressage, shows, music, audience. Um, pretty chill about it all, but he's still young. He's only five, so he just needs a bit more development and finding his own niche. But um, he's working at a novice level dressage, has popped a jump, done all this stuff. So he's seen a lot for his age. What a legend. Right, over, right. over and out. <laughs> Live, love, love you guys. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> An injury. An injury occurs. Boot in the head. <laughs> oh, dirty. That gets you back. <laughs> <laughs>